Here we go. Ready and action. He is such an iconic character. Something that you don't ever forget. This doll is able to hold his own in the pantheon of horror. The idea that Chucky is a smart doll, maybe this movie is foreshadowing. Everything is in a cloud now. Even the adults are susceptible to the child's play of it all. And action! Chucky, I thought most of it was gonna be CGI, but they had like an animatronic doll, six of them, that moved and could make facial expressions and everything. <laughs> When I saw the Chucky doll, I was kind of impressed how realistic he looks, how he can convey emotion. Good night, Andy. <laughs> and a big part of getting Chucky right was having animatronics be a lot of the times that we see Chucky. See Chucky come alive has been very rewarding. <laughs> it's a difficult process to make him an animatronic puppet, to get this beautiful design transferred onto the doll. The actual Chucky dolls. The internal structure is a series of animatronics that help move all the joints. It has a plastic exoskeleton we put over top of the animatronics. The skins are made of foam latex. The eyes will be replaced with digital movement, and then we dress his costume over top of that. We call him our Robo Chucky. Usually takes three to four full puppeteers, completely top to bottom. His face has all the expressions in it. Don't forget your little doll. We've even got interchangeable hands that are just grippy and grabby. It's an evil robot. There's nothing creepier than that.